The other half of the Google Music experience is the Android app. If you go and you download the new music app from the Android market, you'll see it's a completely overhauled version of the music app for Android. Uh, it'll immediately show you all of your songs that you have on Google Music, and you can browse around them just like you would on the old music app. You'll see that just like the desktop app, it's got these really smooth animations and fade outs. If you long press on an album or a song, you can play it, add it to a playlist, or check this available offline box. Google Music will cache any recently played songs on your device so you can still play them if you lose connection, but this lets you choose which songs you can also cache for offline use if you don't have data connection near you. You can swipe through the tabs as you browse your music by playlist or genre, which is pretty nice. And again, you have these really great smooth transitions. In the settings, you can hide unavailable music, so if you don't have a connection, it doesn't show you those songs from Google Music, which is nice. And you can also choose to stream music only over Wi-Fi if you don't have an unlimited data connection. And lastly, it doesn't really have to do with the cloud player, but it's a really nice feature of the new app. Uh, if you turn it on its side, you get all these other really nice views. And you can even show your most recently played music in this cover flow-like format, which is really great. And you can see here it's really, really smooth. So overall, uh, it's not only as polished as its desktop counterpart, but it's got some really nice features related to cloud player and lets you tweak all those to your liking, which is really, really nice. So you can head to the market and download this right now.